Okay. So, the mode functions, just to remind ourselves again, what does the mode function do? Can anyone remember? Okay, so it divides a number and whatever the remainder is, it you know, gives you that remainder. So, that's what we're going to do right now. You're going to actually create a program and use the mode functions. To do that, the first thing, of course, we're going to be dealing with number. We need to create some variables. Okay, so how do we create a variable again? Dim. And then, okay, you want to call it num1, that's the name of the variable. So you have to first give the name of the variable. Let's call it num1, okay, and then you have to declare the data type as integer because we're going to be dealing with number, okay, as integer. Okay, now I think in the whole number will be fine, okay, we'll deal with uh, integer. So we need to create another one, dim. And this time, uh, we want to store the remainder somewhere. Okay, so let's call it RM as again integer. Okay, so we have two variables. So what we need to do now, of course, the first thing we want to ask the user to enter a number, and we're going to take that number, divide it by another number, and then whatever the remainder is, we're going to store it into a variable called RM. Okay, so let's ask the user to enter a number. How do you ask the user to enter a number? How do you display a message to the user? Console door. Right. right line. Okay. Okay. You can do console door right line. Or you can do console door right. I'm just going to use console door right. And you also, of course, you have to put your quotation mark. But whatever is within the quotation mark, that's what it will be displayed on the user screen. Okay. And I just simply write enter a number. Okay. Give a bit of space here. Right, how do I store the number, whatever the user input, into the variable called RM? Yes. Okay, so actually, yes, we want to store it in num1. So num1 is equals console dot read line. Okay. So now we have whatever the user entered, okay, the value, that value, that number is going to be stored into this variable called num1. Okay. Now, what we want to do? Now I want to use the mod function. Okay. To do that, of course, like I said, mod function. What does it do again? It divides the number by another number. Whatever the remainder is, that remainder of that value is actually stored. It will be stored into the variable okay, of your choice. And in this case, rm. So you say rm is equal to okay, num1. This is what the value user have entered. And then I'm going to simply just write mod. Okay, and I'm just going to divide it by 2. Okay, so what this will do, okay, what this will do, whatever the user types in, Okay, in this case here, for example, that you ask the user enter a number, the user enters a number. Whatever the user number user enters, the value user enters, is going to be stored here into this variable called num1. This num1, this variable, is going to be divided by 2. Whatever the remainder is going to be stored inside rm, the variable rm. Okay, so if we just simply dis display the variable rm, we can see what is the remainder after dividing a particular number. Okay, so how would you display this variable called rm? Console dot right line. dot right line, and then just simply write the name of the variable. Remember, if you uh, if you want to display the variable, you do not need the quotation mark. Otherwise, if you put the quotation mark in there, it will just display rm, the letter rm itself. You are not going to display the value inside the rm. Okay, it's not going to display the value inside the rm. So of course. Now, whatever the, u whatever the user typed in, it will be divided by 2, stored inside the variable called rm, and now console.write line, rm will be displayed. So, if I just run this, uh, before I run this program, I put a read line there. Okay. Now, if I run this program,
Okay. Right. So imagine now. Okay. Of course, the user uh, sees this message. Enter a number. Okay. If I type in, for example, five. Okay. What is the value remainder we're expecting? Okay. That you do the five you divide by two and the remainder one left. Okay. So it will only display whatever the remainder is left. Okay. So the one is a remainder. So this is what it will do. If you type in any number. If I type in, say for example, run it again, and I type in nine, yes, okay. What number are we expecting? One, okay. It will only display the remainder that is this, is is left over, and it will be stored into the variable called rm, and then the rm will be displayed. Yes. So there's no remainder. Within. Then, if there's no remainder, what happens? Let's see. Let's run it again. If we run the program, and let's say if we enter a number, say four, okay. If I run the program, would there be any remainder? No. Then the answer would be zero. So there's no remainder. Yes. 